Hi, today I'll be using Windsor & Newton Professional Oil Colors to create a beautiful variety of greys, working purely with complementary colors. Complementary colors are located opposite each other on the color wheel. They're capable of creating brilliant interactions when placed next to each other, but when you mix them together and add white, they make an amazing range of greys that can lean towards a warm or cool hue. So for example, the opposite of red is green, I have sap green, which is a warm, yellow-influenced green, and I'll add some warm cadmium scarlet here. Next, I'll add a bit of white. You can see that it makes a rich, warm grey. Try not to overmix, as you'll lose the variety of potential hues within the greys. A different warm mixture can be made by taking cadmium orange, French ultramarine, a blue which has a reddish bias, and adding a bit of white. It creates a different, but still warm gray. The dark value of the blue allows you to create a nice dark gray. If I need a cooler gray, I could use Viridian, which is a bluish green, and mix it with a cool complementary red, such as permanent alizarin. Alizarin leans toward the blue side of the color wheel. I'll add some white, and you can see that the resulting gray has a cool bluish hue rather than a yellow or orange one. If these greys seem too high chroma for the needs of a specific painting, it's possible to mix more earthy greys by using a low chroma pigment such as burnt sienna instead of high chroma scarlet or alizarin. Here I'm mixing burnt sienna with sap green. I'll add some white and you can see that it makes a lovely earthy grey that would work well in a traditional landscape. There are many more greys that can be achieved by mixing different greens with reds, other blues and oranges, and a variety of yellows with purples. These greys are lively and complex, making them a great addition to any painting. And the real benefit of these mixed greys is that they'll fit harmoniously into the paintings that contain the component colors within them.